Hey everybody, this is Cole Ashlock coming from you or coming to you from Spin Tires Mud Runner. Yeah, that's the newest spin tires. Um I'm currently working on a new map. Uh I uploaded a video before this one. If you ain't seen it, go check it out. It's just the bare bag of bones of how I was starting the map out. I've been working on it for a few hours. I've made quite a few improvements, still finding glitches and stuff I have to work on it at this point. Uh, I've got several vehicles loaded in. This is how you'll start. And uh, we'll just take a little quick little drive around. I've got a little mud here in the uh, garage area. And we're going to come up to our first little glitch here in just a second. Oh! Looks like a nope. I did not get it fixed yet. Um, still having texturing issues with mud. I'll have to go back and on back into the editor and edit some more. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and take a little ride through the country. I've uh, added a little mud through here just for just for fun. And the whole the whole purpose of me doing this was not to release a map to the public or anything. But uh, that side road we'll we'll make our way around to that. I'll show you guys that here after a bit. But uh every a lot of people are making some really cool maps, and they're a lot of fun. But the only problem is, <clears throat> they're adding custom things into the map. Custom items. Whenever you start adding custom items, it started messing up the ability to put them in multiplayer. And it's a lot more fun playing multiplayer. So, I decided I'm going to make... A map that is just absolute a terror to try and navigate because that's what me and my friend Garrett like to uh, drive on we like hard difficult maps and once mod support comes out for maps and everything like that the workshop uh, then I'll go back in and I'm gonna edit and add the custom cool things and make it a lot a lot more fun like the tree right there that's that's a game tree I was hoping it would be a little more difficult than that uh, I used the factory game rocks I know that there's better ones out there once again I want to be able to play multiplayer with no issues so I've tested a lot of trucks on this map. I've drove this map probably 200 times now. Just going through, looking for glitches and stuff. Adding things, changing things. And uh, if, you, if you really like a challenging, challenging map, this this is definitely one, one for it. But, you know, it's... Uh, I made it for trucks with big tires, big suspension, and the one truck I've tested on here that I can't get through here with, without trees and winch points and stuff, was uh, the 69 Chevy C10, which unfortunately is my friend Garrett's favorite truck. I'm sure he'll be able to manage a lot of this map. There'll be points where I'll just have to lead and drag him behind me. Now I'm still working on mud physics, trying to get those the way I want them. And still working on uh, mapping, like that tree. That tree doesn't need to be there. It's kind of 
kind of fun to be there, but. I also like having these surprising little challenges pop up, like these trees that I didn't intend for them to be there, that I ended up accidentally uh, painting them there, so now they're there and they're actually kind of a fun obstacle to go around. I've taken every angle on every path that I possibly could to try and see if it's nav if you can drive through it and I've not found a spot on this map that with the trucks that I mainly use that I couldn't make it through without a winch you know I don't like taking the time to winch I like to be able to drive around it but I also like the challenge of needing a winch too All right there's one of my favorite spots. I didn't hit it quite right, but normally you walk sideways all the way down through there. But if your truck's not good at a balancing act, you know, I made it wide enough where you can drive around like I did. See? I see, thank you. That's broken. Yeah, it's Dad's phone tracker. We come through here, uh, I made a lot of uh, frame twisting areas where you just you're just gonna work your suspension hard, and if you try and go through here just hauling ass, you're gonna you're gonna destroy your truck, and you're gonna roll, and you're gonna have to come back with another truck or have a buddy of yours come winch you out. This little dodge, it'll it'll tackle everything pretty well. That, that hole was purposely put there just to wreck your day. Most of the time you end up sideways laying on your side in that hole. Here's a good example of uh, how hard you're going to flex your truck. Go up the next hill. It's a very nav uh, you know, novice friendly. Uh, map but got its its own little hidden secrets of, of fun. Uh, we'll come back to this little turn area there. Basically it's a it's right now we're going on a loop and we'll loop back around to that spot. Now 
Now, uh, this spot up here, I was asked to make something crazy with a bridge, so I decided I would make a challenging downhill bridge. So you're kind of just floating over over the top of things. You got to go through a tree. come down here to this little rock crawl and uh, I was gonna make this a little more extreme but these rocks you just can't grip them and it's just not that much fun trying to go through them so I just made it fairly easy where you could just crawl right on through it Nice little boulder here to try and navigate over, which I plan on changing all those rocks whenever, you know, the, uh, mo the workshop allows you to add maps, because at that point then I, I'll put the, uh, the modified ones in there that actually have grip. Right now, I'm just making it multiplayer friendly. Something that you can cruise around in and not get mad. But yet, challenge yourself and really work a, a steering wheel out if you've got a gaming wheel. I plan on putting a little rock crawl area through here whenever I get uh, you know, whenever I get the opportunity to. There's that uh, spot that we were at earlier. So if you don't want to go up and over, you just cut through here. I really like this spot. <clears throat> uh, I went through, I textured it with some rocks and stuff to make it even more challenging. There's little wash gullies with mud in them. It's, it's still easily navigated. It's just... It's fun. It's just a fun little spot right there. I'm gonna put some boulders and stuff in here to you know, have that off-road experience. Yeah, I'll put a little sinkhole in here. Just to, just to screw with people. That's the end of that, uh, section one, and section two there. And then this spot over here I made strictly for Garrett. It more than likely won't be in the finalized map, I just did it just because he wanted to have a ramp, so we made a ramp. Now if you got a really fast truck, like the Baja truck, you know, get some air off that but the Dakota <laughs> you ain't getting nothing off the Dakota so there it is there's there's uh what I've got so far plan on putting a lot more into it jeez stupid clutch 
So yeah, tell me what you uh, what you like, and what you think I should improve on, add to. You know, it's not it's not really that easy to make maps. At first, I thought, oh yeah, this would be a breeze, and the first rendition, yeah, it was pretty easy. And I went through and I started trying to make it my own and my own cool little thing. And the more you add, the more issues you run into and start finding errors. Yeah, but so far it's it's just been fun. Thanks for watching everybody that's watched uh throw me a like out there if you want if you liked it let me know what you liked uh, what, what I need to improve all that good stuff and uh, thanks for watching and also I'll next video I'm gonna use an actual my uh, good editing software I just threw this stuff together so but thanks guys